the f- did you say? Was that an excuse? Did you just say, I can't? I think what I heard you say is you don't want to. Stop being fucking lazy. You know why some of you in here, your families don't support you? Because you fucking whine, bitch, and complain to them when you go home all the time. They banished me, never to be seen. To a place where the years always fill the screams. So hot that the land only grows weeds. A place filled with demons. Like, come on. Like, 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 now is the time to really understand how to get everything. How to get it all. But step one is this. You guys are all leaders. Am I correct? Okay, listen, from now on, I will not call you a finance guy because that's a title and I don't like titles. You're a leader. I need you to write this down. I'm a leader. And a leader has to do three things, okay? There's three levels of leadership. Number one, a leader has to self-lead, which if you guys want to run a store, if you guys want to own a store, if you guys want to do your own shit one day, if you guys want to kill it in what you're doing right now, I need you to start thinking about are you being the example for the rest of the company right now? Self-lead. Write down rule number one, self-lead. If you can't lead yourself, I'm going to assure you, you don't have to worry about ever owning a store. You don't have to ever worry about being a GM or a GM. Hey, I know a lot of GMs right now get the fucking ass kicked. And they're like, oh, I run my store. Dude, I've seen your numbers. It's embarrassing, bro. I can't believe they haven't fired your ass yet. If they knew some of the people that I knew that could replace you, they would fucking replace you in a heartbeat. They're scared, they're lazy, they're tired, they're just like you. They don't know there's hope. I'm going to tell you this. How I kill it, I don't give a shit what goes on in this world. This is my economy. This is my reality. What I say is going to happen is what's going to happen, period. End of story. It doesn't matter. I will, I will refuse to sell my dreams out to anybody else's fucking philosophy. You guys must become this way. Now, does this leader, which is me, able to lead everyone else? Yeah. Dude, some of you right now, you're looking at me, you guys got low self-limiting beliefs. You're not for sure if you're the person that can move the needle in the company. Can you guys walk in right now and know that you can, you can change an entire company like that? Good, well, you're given the shot when you go back to your store and you leave here to go do it right now like that. So who are you? So number one is self-lead. I want you to do me a favor. We're gonna deep dive into what self-leads means. Number one, the way that you operate with your family. I'm gonna ask you a question. How are you treating them? Don't go to work. And just be that guy that works all the time, go home, and treats his family like shit. You need to understand this. Your goal eventually is to run and build a team. Am I correct? Do you want your fucking people to love to come to work? I mean, love to. Like, when they come to work, they can't believe. What if, what if I could teach you to build a team in which people didn't even work for money? Like, money was a bonus. They worked because they knew when they came in, they got to self-develop around you, and every day they were around you, you made them feel powerful. You made them feel different. You made them feel like coming to work made them a better husband and a better father and a better person. When they looked in the mirror, they liked themselves better because that's what you did because you're their leader. That's what we're going to fucking do. Fuck finance. You got to become the leader. Hey guys, if you're ready to level up and crush it and kill it, I'm going to tell you what to do. Put it on the calendar. January 15th, my wife is releasing her YouTube channel, Jacqueline Elliott. My wife is the backbone of our company. She's the CEO of the Elliott Group. She has wrote all the sales training. I have just been the face. She is coming out into the open from how we have a badass marriage to raising our children while we have a nine figure business and killing it to leading our sales team and ultimately just crushing and killing it in life. If you're ready to level up, if you follow me and you're a man, you want to know what she knows. It will make you the baddest ass man that's ever lived. And also, if you're a woman, get your wife on this. If you watch this and you're a lady and you want to crush it and kill it, you want to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So men and women, if you're ready for the greatest training training that was ever released, the greatest self-development from the greatest CEO that's ever lived, Jacqueline Elliott, January 15th. Be on the lookout. It's going to be game changing. Now, what leaders do, how they separate themselves from bosses, because bosses are losers. People work for a boss for a paycheck. People work for the leader for blood, sweat, and tears. Okay. A lot of people say, Andy, you got a cult. I do have a cult. It's a good cult. It's a cult in which I make people hold standards. I know that's fucking rare, right? It's a cult in which I make people take care of their health. It's a cult in which I make people take care of their mindset. It's a cult in which I make people take care of their family or I'll fire them if they don't. It's a cult in which I want people to do better. Yeah, well, if that's a cult, good. I think everybody should be a part of it because it's the good shit in life, not a bad cult. I don't ask anybody to do anything bad. I actually positively peer pressure for people to get better and change. Stop being fucking lazy, okay? So that's why I'm not for everybody. But I want to tell you guys, if you want to do something big, the whole world out there right now is dying and thirsty for leaders. 
They are just like you guys are. So since I always say this, if you can't find it, build it. You say, well, Andy, that's not my way in my store. The f- did you say? Was that an excuse? Did you just say I can't? I think what I heard you say is you don't want to because you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I can go into any company right now and I can change the culture one day and it'll never be the same again. Nobody will stand up against me. I will fucking replace you. I have 9 billion people in this world I can go find. Somebody who's hungry, who wants to learn. You know what I'll do? I don't need skill. I'll hire somebody with a good attitude. And then I'll train that son of a bitch. All of you guys in here, if you're a badass, you were made. You did not just show up and you were the most skilled son of a bitch ever. You wanted it more. You had a good attitude. You had a good perspective on life. And somebody invested in you. Or you self-learned. Guys, it's never been easier to win. So you must become the person you need to become to attract the team that you want to win. Does that make sense? Which means I tolerate no bullshit. Hey, I didn't say we can't make mistakes. I means I won't tolerate excuses like I can't do that. Or you don't understand. Because some of you are like, but, but you don't understand, Andy. We're a Honda store. But, but you don't understand, Andy. I live in Massachusetts. Shut the fuck up. Okay, what are you talking about? But you don't understand, we only have 1,800 people that live around us. Bro, it's the internet error. I mean, come on, man. Like, quit being stupid, okay? Like, everything that you're saying is absolutely excuses, and they only sound good to the people that are making them, okay? But real winners see right through that shit, and we're like, dude, you're an idiot, bro. And by the way, I don't want you around me unless you're willing to change. So, self-leadership. I'm going to tell you how to build a team and keep a team. Number one, you must lead by example by taking care of your own family, because step two is going to be to step two is going to be leading other people. Does that make sense? Self step one is going to be self leadership. Step two is going to be leading other people. How in the hell can you lead other people if they don't like the way that you're leading your own family? Now listen to me. Do you think people are going to come to work and they're going to kick ass when they go home and have good and great lives at home? Yes or no? Have you ever seen someone come to work with a bad family life? Were they any good to you? Anybody that had problems at home right now? Name one person right now that's got problems at home. They've got issues. They come to work and just fucking kick ass. They don't kick ass. So the leader must show people that we must be where our feet are. See, I'm at work right now, right? Like, because I'm with you, we're at work. That means we're going to be here while we're here. I don't care what your schedule is. We're going to be here while we're here. Now, when we get out of here, we're going to we're going to turn it off, and then we're going to go be with our families. And that way, our family doesn't get leftovers. They get special energy, and then they actually support us to come work all these hours and kick ass and make money. And they like what we do. Plus, we're not going to go home and complain to our families anymore. You know why some of you in here, your families don't support you? Because you fucking whine, bitch, and complain to them when you go home all the time. You know why they don't like what you do? You know why they don't support you to change? Because you've made them not support you. If Dennis had a daughter and his daughter said, hey, dad, I'm with this guy. You know, I love him. But, you know, he called me a bitch last night. Dude, Dennis is never going to support that guy. Two years later, they go to get married. Dennis ain't ever going to fucking support him. She's like, yeah, but he's changed. You think I give a shit? You, you shouldn't have told me. You shouldn't have told me. Some of you shouldn't have told your families about the grind and the hard work that you've had at work. Now, can I change what you've already done? No, but I can tell you to ch- do things differently. I have one goal for you. If you guys want to become rich, if you guys want to become multimillionaires, you don't have to quit your job and go find a new one. You got to do your job now differently. You got to do life differently. What you're doing now has gotten you what you've got. That's why we're in here learning today. Does that make sense? Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.